Okay, so I totally forgot to mention this during the uh, the gameplay rant of sorts for uh, Pokemon Go. And at this present moment, as I am doing a Meltan box in hopes of getting another perfect IV Meltan, um, I had this idea of finding a way to actually use your Pokemon more in like a PvE sense to actually use them to fight other Pokemon besides in gyms and in pvp because i kind of feel that's like one of the big things about the og pokemon games or the mainline pokemon games in general is that you can go out throughout the world and fight pokemon and i feel that's something that's so sorely missed in pokemon go especially look at the game that was inspired by it pokemon let's go you can't fight the pokemon out in the overworld the only time you actually get to fight is during um the trainer battles and i think that kind of sucks because i feel that's like half the appeal of a pokemon game half it is collecting the pokemon trying to get a shiny trying to get the best one possible and cycling through all the pokemon so you have yourself the best team possible and then you start proceeding through the story to fight the trainers and whatnot and I feel there's something you can do with Pokemon Go. I had this idea in my head in terms of having a simple gameplay mechanic where, you know, you have one of two options. You know, the typical, okay, you find a Pokemon out in the overworld, and you can still capture one, or you can toggle a switch. Like, you look in the main screen. Bottom left is your character portrait. The bottom right is, you know, the research tab and all that shit. Top right is, you know, the weather conditions and various buffs you have. What I'm thinking in the top left of that menu is a toggle switch. And by default, it's set to catching mode. And then you can set to fighting mode. And basically what fighting mode entails is that you fucking... Whenever you go and select a Pokemon, you'll just automatically start fighting it. You don't have to worry about capture. You don't have to worry about AR bullshit. Just go straight into fighting mode. Now, you might be wondering, oh, well, what's the benefit of going straight into fighting mode? Well, I had this idea, since there's Mega Candies and Normal Candies, Fragment Candies. And what will happen is, depending on what Pokemon you're using, whether it be a Legendary or Run-of-the-Mill Pokemon, you can have your Pokemon go into the battle, and you can just fight it with that particular Pokemon. And the result is, when you defeat said Pokemon with the one that you're using, you'll get Fragment Candies for the one that you use to fight with and after collecting a certain amount of fragments you can convert it into a normal candy and power up your pokemon that way the only reason why i had that idea in my head is that you know there's plenty of times where you get a legendary pokemon from raids or you get a limited time pokemon that's not in the rotation whether it be ralts or riolu or the legendaries like mewtwo dialga deoxys all of them my idea is that it'll allow you to use that pokemon to fight various pokemon in the field and you can get candies for it so you don't have to worry about either having to participate in raids or having to do pvp or other various bullshit to get the fucking uh the rainbow candies and have to invest it that way it would just be a very easy way to build up candies for that particular pokemon that may be very hard to get candy for them, so you can level them up easier and also test to see how well their you know combat efficiency is now of course that poses another problem is that you know if you're going to fight these pokemon what two ways are you going to fight them because currently there's there's two different versions of the fighting mechanic there's the normal slow paced one where the fucking moves are slower and you can use up charge up abilities and have shield that's mainly the pvp trainer battles and then there's the gym battles where you fight up against other Pokemon in the gym. It's a lot more fast pace, and, you know, it obviously makes sense because, you know, you're fighting up against multiple Pokemon at a particular location instead of, like, you know, over the data waves, I guess, with PvP. Now, unfortunately, because I'm a more fast paced type of guy, I believe the fast paced version would be a lot easier to implement since you don't have to worry about extra inputs or shields. And because if you're moving at a relatively fast pace, there's multiple Pokemon on the screen that you can go up against. It would be a lot easier just to use the faster mechanic and just keep tapping the screen until the fuckers are dead. And 
that's like pretty much it. I mean, it was just a random idea I had whenever I was thinking about, you know, ways you can improve how you can get certain candies for a Pokemon that may be out of rotation. And it'll allow you to use Pokemon that you basically shelve because, you know, they're underpowered. You can't get candies for them anymore. You don't, you don't know what to do with them. But this way, at least, you can fucking use that particular technique to get yourself some more candies for that Pokemon. Another idea that I had just now, a, a particular way to maybe use berries to empower your Pokemon. Because there's also, like, difficulties. Kind of. Because obviously, you know, there's chances you'll find the fully evolved forms of a Pokemon on the screen. Sometimes you'll face a Squirtle out of the blue, and sometimes you'll end up seeing a fucking Jarzard. And obviously, the, the CP ranges will range between a measly 13 C CP, an easy swipe, to as much as 2,000 CP. So depending on what Pokemon you have in your roster, you can actually still get fucked up. And to reflect that, you'll get more fragments for a particular candy. And the XP, um, I don't know. The XP is kind of a little bit different. Since it's a lot more fast-paced, you're not capturing Pokemon. It'll more faci facilitate, you know, the HP bottles. Maybe you'll get a little bit more since it's more of a fighting type thing as opposed to catching. And, um, what was the other thing that I was thinking of? Oh, yes. And it's, it's a balancing act. Because obviously, you know, you're getting more candies for a particular Pokemon that could be OP as shit. But you're obviously risking the possibility of getting a perfect IV Pokemon. You're killing a potential Hundo Pokemon, or a Shiny for that matter. Now obviously, you know, if you do happen to face a Shiny while you're in fighting mode, you should still have the option to switch over into the catching mechanic. Or, you know, just, like, have a more trivialized Pokeball throw from the main games where you can just tap it and you'll automatically throw your best ball at it in case it is a shiny so you don't ruin your chances of actually getting it. But, um, yeah. The only reason why I say it is because I want more action in Pokemon Go. Like, I'm, I'm semi-content capturing the fuckers and doing the gems, but... Every now and then, I'm just kind of like, man, I don't want to have to go too far out to fucking, you know, capture a gym, or I don't want to deal with the unpredictability having to go up against some sort of PvP asshat in League. Because there will be times where I just have a particular set of Pokemon, they can just demolish because they have the exact same, or they have the exact counterbalance, you know, the opposite counters to kick my ass. But, um, yeah, you know, just give us a new toggle feature where we can just fight Pokemon on the go, the fast-paced version of the battles from the gyms, and get fragments of candies for our Pokemon, the ones that are in rotation or are from raids, so we can have a semi-easier time of doing it. Now, obviously, you know, Niantic probably won't think of this, because with their idea, it's all about going out there and capturing as opposed to fighting, and not to mention, if you have that somewhat easy way of getting fragments of candies for a particular Pokemon that could dissuade you from doing, you know, PvP or the raids. So that would be a little bit less money in their pocket. But the way they've been operating as of late, how much more money are they actually losing by implementing this quality of life feature, this brand new mechanic? But, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to give that little idea a whirl and put it on the fucking hard drive here. Um, usual chant, like, dislike, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this particular gameplay improvement would be appealing to you. Um, don't know when the fuck this will go. I'll probably go out in the next two months, but who knows. And um, I don't know. Hopefully Pokemon Go get some improvements. But until then, uh, yeah, Manager's clocking out. Bye.